first of all, thank you very much for your trust in Park Bionics and for purchasing the Simplicity brand of equipment. You have purchased a professional level powder application system at a very reasonable price and we appreciate your business. Now when you get your unit, it's going to come in a box like this. So what we're going to do is walk you through the setup and help you understand what all the different components are. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to open up the box and pull out all the equipment and lay it out on the table here. Alright guys, this is what comes in the box. We've got everything laid out. This is uh, the complete package and we'll go through in a little bit more detail everything. But what you're going to get, this is your main body. This is your uh, uh, controller, your gun controller. You're going to get your simplicity gun. You get your operating manual. Um, we're going to give you a power cord. This is your gun cable. We we'll get a lot of hose and tubing. I'll go through this. The, this is your powder hose. This connects up between your pump and your gun. This is your main air incoming hose. We give you a fits on here and we're going to give you another fitting that you can put on your airline that the other end connects up to. Again, we'll go through that in a little bit more detail. You have the black hose, the black 8 millimeter is your FM hose, your main air hose that goes from your pump to uh, your gun controller. This white hose is your FS hose. It goes between, again, between your injector, your pump, and your gun controller. This is your cleansing air hose. It's a six millimeter. By the way, your FS is also a six millimeter hose. Uh, this goes between your gun controller and your gun in this case. And we'll show you a little bit more detail in, in a little while. This is the injector that comes with the unit. Uh, it can be modified to fit onto your hoppers or one of our hoppers. This is your gun holster. It mounts to the side of the controller or you can mount it to your booth wall or anywhere else. I'm gonna show you, this is some spiral wrap. This comes in really, really handy. I'll show you how to use it uh, a little bit later in the video. Uh, you get couple extra fuses of each size and we're going to give you a ground cable. This ground uh, wire here is to connect up the controller to, to your ground. That's an electrical ground. It's not the same ground that you're going to be using for your parts, which is an earth ground. So this ground is uh, made for electrical ground for the controller box. You're going to get a short little pigtail like this. This can be used to connect up to your hopper to ground your hopper. Again, that ground does not have to be earth ground, it can be electrical ground. Uh, so with that, we're going to go into a little bit more detail on every component. Um, and we're going to start with, the obviously, the power cord has a connector that goes to the back of the controller and a plug that goes into your wall. Your gun cable here, we're going to take the gun cable apart, unwrap it. It's seven meters long, so that's about 21 foot. On each end, on this end here, the small end here is your connector that connects up to the gun. This larger end here is the connector that connects to the back of the uh, gun controller. We go on here, we simply place it on. You wanna snug this up all the way, nice and tight. That's your power your gun cable going to your gun. The other end is going to go onto the back here and I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the back of the control unit. This is where your gun cable connects up to. So you're simply going to put the connector on the back. There's a little locating pin on it. Once you get it located you want to screw it down very tight, nice and tight. This is an extra connector that is uh, not applicable to the Simplicity system. This is where you put in your uh, power cable that plugs into the wall. Over here, you see these three air fittings here. They're labeled. The later air fitting is your FM, or your main air. That's this black hose here. 
Your FS, which is right here, FS is your sub air, that's the white hose, and it goes to the back side of the injector. And then your PT is your cleansing air, that's this clear hose, and that runs from the back of the controller to the gun, and it connects up to the gun right here, it slides on right like that. That provides cleansing air. We'll go through what that is and what's, what it provides you later on in the video. How do you get air to the unit, your compressed air? We're giving you a 10 millimeter hose here, and what you're gonna do is one end of the 10 millimeter hose connects right up here. This is a coalescing filter, so it will give you some level of protection against moisture and dirt and that in your compressed air. The other end of this hose is going to connect into this one touch fitting that comes in a bag. It's part of what we supply. This one touch fitting has got a 3 8 inch NPT fitting on it. Screw that into your air supply source and then you simply push this other end into your air. Now you got compressed air coming into your unit. Real quick, simple way to get a one touch uh, disconnected. Rather than fighting, pushing this piece down, you push the hose in, just a small amount, push down on this, and it separates. It's pretty straightforward. You wonder what the spiral wrap is all about? I'm gonna show you how to use it best. Take the spiral wrap, cut it in six inch, roughly, sections, like so. And uh, what we're gonna do is, I've, I've connected up all the hoses and cables to the gun itself. You have your gun cable, you have your cleansing air hose, six millimeter, and you have your powder hose, 10 millimeter. How do you manage all this length of hose and cable hanging out here? Here's how you do it. You're gonna take the spiral wrap, do a wrap around the powder hose, you're gonna tie together all three of these lines like this. This is how you manage the powder hose, the cleansing air, and the, and the gun cable. So you're gonna put one of these on about every three or four feet. Again, start the wrap on the powder hose, and then just wrap around like so. And now you got a good management system for keeping everything aligned when you're painting. Much easier.